Hi everyone and welcome back to Anichan. Today we're going to be learning how I have this cool new accessory, my little dolphin pen, and how we can import accessories into your VM BRM file using Blender and it's all free as well. I'll have a link in the description for Blender and the plugin so you can get started straight away. It's going to be sort of a commentary video and then later on for Halloween I'll do a full video with a Bloodborne cosplay. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, now we're in Blender. You need to go up to the corner here, file, and import. And you'll see I have VM, VRM, <laughs> VRM. Normally it's not there. You'll get a menu which has no VRM. So to add the VRM option, you go preferences, edit, preferences, and you get this. Oh, oh it's not showing. You get this here, and you go install, find the zip file, and install the plugin. Now you might not see it, so you need to testing it. Yeah? And when you're in testing, you'll get this option here, and you have to tick it. Yeah. And then once you have that in the options, it will have both export and import and then you can start importing your character like this okay once your character is in blender it will probably look like this it won't have any textures you won't be able to see anything and you the mesh the polygons might be larger than the textures you have on your mesh, on your character. So, if you press C and then rendered, it will give you a nice preview of what it looks like. And you probably look something like this. These little lines these are bones and these bones move your character that's how your character moves so if I go to edit mode if I select my bones and I go How do I do this again? Ah, you have to click the bone itself and then you can go into pose mode. And when you're in pose mode, you can move those bones. So you can see here, I have a very long dress on down here. So these bones actually move my dress. But because it's invisible, you can't see it. So if you want to fix any new clothing, you need to make sure the bones line up correctly with the mesh. Okay. So let's get rid of this. Go back to object mode. And we're going to add my little dolphin. Well, let me correct it in the camera. 
Should have put it on the other side so you can see it better. So we're gonna select the hair because I I put this in the hair. I put it in the hair. If I press tab, I go into edit mode and you can see all the little vertexes, all the little dots. And if I go, oh, I'm going to move myself again, about here. So we have this nice panel. We click the material properties. You'll see I have two materials here. Now, to make these materials from scratch, kind of difficult. So I, what I like to do is just go to Leroid oh, wrong blender Leroid go to hair editor and you can I think it's design here you can duplicate and make a new texture. That way, when you go into Blender, you already have extra textures ready for you. All right, back to Blender. So that's how we got this nice texture. And to edit this texture, uh, we use nodes because that's how the VRM is set up. So up the top here, we're going to go to shading, I think it is. Yeah. Now this might look a little scary, but it's not so scary. See here is our hair. And here is our different textures. So you want to make sure you select the right texture or the right material for your hair. Mine's this orange one. And now we have this big object, but it's not so scary. We have these three orange ones. These are five orange ones. I can't count. We have these five orange ones. I can't count. Uh, if you click the little arrow, it opens it up and you can select your texture. In my case, it is just a orange, uh, just, can I show you? Is it easy to show? Uh, it's just an orange gradient, not not complicated. Here, there you go. You can see there. You can see the thumbnail, and you can see that's the jacket that we made, and that's my shoes. So this is just uh, an orange gradient. You close that shader, same texture. Normals. Normals is how bumpy it is. So if you have a really bumpy thing, maybe you want to make a special normal map. Uh, immersion is how bright it is. And spherical add, I believe this is lighting. Uh, diffuse color, I went orange shade color so you can do some cool things by making the shade different color than the uh, main color so you can make it like blue and then you get those cool gradients where it's like bright 
orange area and then blue outline that's for the toon shader so you get those cool anime outlines rim color same about light but you don't need to change most of these you just need to change these five orange ones that will make the, the color work for this new object but Alicia how do we get the object into the program well I'm glad you asked you see all these imports you can import any of these into the program so I found this uh, yeah I found this dolphin clip just on Google Doo. it took maybe 10 minutes and I found a OBG file I think OBG files are pretty good for this sort of stuff because they're usually pretty small and they don't have any animation or extra stuff yeah and it looks super cute uh, so once I had the inside there I scaled it with S make it smaller and bigger uh, and I rotated it with with Y but this is not a blender tutorial so I can't teach you all the things on how to use blender just how to put things in the VM VRM so now your object is inside you want to you see how when I press tab it edits this as well because my dolphin is part of my hair so to do that you have to get two things so let me just undo that I'm going to separate selection so now they're separate if I go here and here and I go join they're now one object but just because they're one object doesn't mean that the bones know how to change that object so if you don't do this they might get stuck um, and you'll probably also get some errors on export but it won't move correctly with the bones or the hair so we're gonna put our bones back you'll see there's one right here yeah for this bit of the hair um, and every bone is connected to a vertex group a group of these dots so if I so select that's this bit is affected by this bone here yeah, select this bit is this bone so if I get if I go out and I select this bone this one control L to get the whole bone I can get the name here kind of a long name I probably wouldn't rename it unless you can do a lot of editing but you can rename these as long as they match with the bone that should be okay so we got the bone we got the the name of the group now we go back to our mesh and our vertex groups and we can see I think it's this one no. it, uh, what was it what was it It was eight zero nine eight zero nine so eight that 
there we go and you can see it selected this dolphin so before it was like this I'm going to remove the selected vertex from the active group yep now if I select this it's just this and this isn't affected by the bone but we want to go shift click shift click command sorry control L and then assign and you can do more technical stuff with weight but we're not going to get into that just now so then when I just to check yeah that's correct so now when this bit of hair moves the dolphin will move with that bit of hair with a 1% weight so the whole dolphin will move not parts of the dolphin and I think that's uh, everything you need to add in the, the texture you have to make sure the texture is the material is correct from the hair if you want to apply uh, let's let's go through applying the material so once you have your mesh selected control L to get linked you can then assign whatever material you want based off here but I would make it beforehand in Vroid so it's a bit easier to change uh, and then when that's all done you can go ahead and just export the ERM and desktop export you'll see some things down here and in the end you'll get a nice ah yeah okay so this thing it says please add armature to selection so select everything then export the vrm uh, yes and then now that was successful so make sure to select everything the armature is the bones so make sure you select everything when you export and then you can import it into whatever VR program you use I'm using the magic mirror uh, I did notice very small thing that maybe the light the light is like reversed so maybe you need to switch your lighting a little bit but uh, apart from that that's it thank you so much for watching soon I will do a time lapse of making the bloodborne outfit including the cool hat hopefully it turns out well um, yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below uh, I'm always on I'm on reddit and I'm on Instagram if you have questions so come say hi alright Arichan out